Turning now to shocking statistics from Brazil. According to a local service organization, Brazilian police kill six people a day. The disturbing figures were released this month. CCTV's Lucrecia Franco reports from Rio de Janeiro. It is not rare to see police pointing weapons while patrolling Rio's favelas or slums. Instead of protection, however, Brazil's police have killed more than 11,000 people over the past five years. About the same number the U.S. police have done in the last 30 years. Clashes between police and civilians are common during protests and raids, but here they result in deaths. According to a study released by the Brazilian Forum of Public Security, an NGO that gathered official data, more than 2,000 Brazilians are killed per year after coming into contact with the police. Last year, only in Rio de Janeiro, 416 people were killed by security services. That is 2.5 deaths for every 100,000 inhabitants, the highest rate in the country. Among them, Paulo Roberto Santos, an 18-year-old petty thief. His mother, Fatima dos Santos, says a group of policemen strangled him to death. The agents were part of a pacification unit as the specially trained police to clean favelas from drug gangs are called. They don't respect the poor, even more when they know they live in a favela and have a police record. They don't have any respect. Violence doubles with these boys. According to local authorities, killings involving police have dropped almost 70 percent in Rio de Janeiro since the pacification program was launched in 2008. Not enough, experts say. Because not only in Rio, but in Brazil as a whole, death tolls equate to a war zone. Sociologist Ignacio Cano, a violence expert, says the report underestimates real numbers that could be even higher and that causes a mixed. The police doctrine is militarized and highly oriented to confrontations, and there is lack of monitoring and investigation of deaths so that summary executions are not verified or condemned. Brazilian police follow a pattern of abuse and use lethal force as a response to crime and violence, says the report, and calls for an urgent need to review the performance of the country's law enforcement agents. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.